Hi guys, MMA here bringing you another fight review. This one, big fight in the middleweight division between Yushin Okami and Hector Lombard. Um, big fight on the main card of UFC on Fuel TV 8 that happened last night. Uh, I went into this fight kind of expecting it to go a bit differently, to be perfectly honest. I thought Hector Lombard was going to be the super aggressive guy, and I thought he was going to win the fight. Obviously, he didn't. Um, first round, Okami takes him down. Gets on top, uh, spends quite a bit of time in half guard, full guard, but doesn't really do a lot of damage, um, which is interesting because normally the longer guy would like to uh, keep the fight standing, use the jab, um, and he was a lot longer. I mean, you see the difference in the sizes between the two guys is is huge. Hector, Lom um, Hector Lombard, the much shorter guy, um, giving away quite a bit in reach, but obviously because he's so muscular, I'd like to see him drop to 170 to be perfectly honest. I think he's so overly muscled for, <laughs> for 185. We saw that in the third round when he got tired, when he could well have finished the fight. But I'll, I'll just break it down through the rounds. Um, Lombard had better striking in round one, but I feel like because of the takedown and the time spent on top by Yushin Okami, he would have taken that round. Um, second round, Okami did a good job with a jab. He started using that. It's good strategy for the bigger guy. Again, he took him down the second round and managed to mount him. So definitely the first two rounds went to Okami. Third round, Lombard comes out banging. He knows he needs to make a statement, he needs to probably finish the fight. Although he didn't quite seem aware that he needed to finish the fight, he probably just thought he needed to win the round, which is not true, he needed to finish the fight as we saw. Um, and he hurts Okami, right off the bat he's aggressive. I always think with you, with um, Hector Lombard, the more aggressive he is, the better he is. And we saw this sort of, he's almost got that sort of Vandalay style. Um, he should have come out, and we saw it against Tim Boach. First fight in the UFC, he was sort of um, much more relaxed and didn't do a lot. And he lost the fight to decision. Rusamar Paul Harris, he comes out banging like an animal. Bang, 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 bang. Knocks him out. Job done. Again, this this fight in Okami, again, he wasn't really aggressive enough. Third round, he's a lot aggressive. And he hurt him. He really hurt him. He, he saw Okami was sort of wobbling all over the place. He thought, oh, he can finish the fight. But he was clearly too tired. I think he's carrying too much muscle on his frame. He needs to drop down to 170, lose some muscle. He'll have much better cardio and stamina as a result. And uh, and yeah, we saw it. He heard him with some big punches, big wild hooks that he throws, but he didn't have the energy to finish off. And I think that's why he instigated a ground game. I have no idea why he was happy to lie on his guard, happy to lie on top of him, um, do minimal damage. He's not the better grappler. He's not the better ground fighter. If he'd had more energy, he could have forced the fight standing and probably knocked him out. The fact that he went to the ground gave Yushin Okami a chance to recover and get back in the fight. Um, and obviously we went to the decision. One judge scored it 29-28 Lombard, which is interesting. I guess the only thing you could possibly argue would be the first round. But I think they made the right call. Yushin Okami, two rounds to three, is how I would have scored the fight. And he wins the fight. Okami, big fight for him. He moves on in the middleweight division. Um, obviously, it's always going to be hard for him to get a title shot because he's had one and lost. That's a big deal. Um, guys very rarely get a second title shot unless it's immediately um, against the same guy who's a middleweight title holder. Um, and Anson, beat him. Anson Silva really did not just beat him. like He easily beat him. You couldn't really argue another title shot. But he's right up there. Three wins on the row, including wins over Lombard and, and uh, Alan Belcher just recently. That's really big for Okami. Um, High-level grappler. I feel as though he's got to do more damage. If he really wants to be at the top level of the division, he's got to... Finish, guys. He's, again, the same as, as we saw on the card with um, Dong Young Jong. Sorry, Dong Hyung Kim. Um, it's that same sort of issue. He, he he needs to finish the guys to be higher up in the division. Um, Okami's huge for middleweight. He's a great grappler, great control when he gets on top. But uh, yeah, needs some more finishing power or some better jiu-jitsu skills to finish fights. That's what fans want to see, and that'll push you up the rankings. I say it time, time and again, and that's why we see it. But uh, yeah, good fight for him. Where Hector Lombard goes from this, I don't know. He's probably going to have to drop down, fight a lower level guy, maybe a top sort of 10 to 20 ranking sort of place before he can get back up there. I would love to see him in a title fight against Hans Silva and somebody tell him in the beginning, someone give him a little shot or something and tell him, just be aggressive. That's your style. Just go for it and see what happens. Uh, that'd be really interesting to see. But yeah, quite a good fight. Quite enjoyed it. This card really did build up in intensity. The following two fights were the real big fights, but I'll be getting to reviewing those. If you want to see the uh, knockouts and the reviews of those, then head over to my other videos. But yeah, this has been MMA, bringing another fight review. Please remember to like and subscribe. Keep your eye out for more videos because they'll be on the way shortly. See you later, guys.